Hello friends, my name is Catherine and welcome to Storytime. Let's start with our welcome song. Welcome friends, and a special hello today to Lyric Nicholas, Lena Noen London. Let's start with a song that's really fun. It's called Skip to My Lou. Some of you might already know it. So let's do it. We'll have some fun, silly uh, verses in this one. Here we go. for singing that with me. Let's do another song, and this one's called The More We Get Together. This one makes me really happy too. One, two, ready, go. The more And speaking of happiness, I thought for our first book, we can read a book called Layla's Happiness. Written by Maria Hadessa Akir Tali. Illustrated by Ashley Corin. My name is Layla. I am seven years old. Layla means night beauty, and I love the night. The dark sky is pretty. It is the color of dark purple plums. And the full moon, well, it's my favorite. It sits in the sky like a wish flower sister. If I could reach the moon, I'd blow on it and wish to play the trumpet well without ever having to practice. I think happiness is climbing a tree, wearing purple, or eating spaghetti without a fork. It's my dad when he talks about growing up in South Carolina and my mom when she reads me poetry happiness is planting a tomato seed and watching it grow in my favorite place the community garden down the block in the garden I can dance with a ladybug on my finger see butterflies, and chase my friend Juan. I can feed chickens and give all the trees names. I can even pick vegetables to sell at our farmer's market.
I think happiness is hearing Juan's parents laugh after they dance salsa under the magnolia tree. And when the sea reaches into her pocket to give me a sand dollar. I think happiness is showing my mom the outer space flowers in my kaleidoscope. That's what I think. Do you think so too? What is happiness to you? The end. I hope you enjoyed that story, and a special thank you to Myra, my guest reader. Well, friends, what makes you happy? Really? That's wonderful. Well, for me, I love to dance more than anything. I love to be out in nature. I especially love to see the ocean. And I love to sing, especially silly, silly songs. Do you want to sing a silly song with me right now? Okay, let's do one. I need a friend to help me though. Here's my friend Elephant. Okay, this one's called Willoughby Wallaby. And you can make up lots of different verses at home and I'll show you how. Willoughby Wallaby wee, the elephant sat on me. Willoughby Wallaby wouch, the elephant sat on the couch. Willoughby Wallaby wet, the elephant sat on my head. Willoughby Wallaby Wolder, the elephant sat on my shoulder. Willoughby Wallaby Wook, the elephant sat on the book. Willoughby Wallaby Wap, the elephant sat on my lap. So you can put in your names, um, names of your family members, or just things around the house, and you can sing that silly song at home. So I have another rhyme, if you can help me out. And this time, my friend Puppy Dog's gonna help. Okay, here we go. Maybe you can do the motions with me too. Here we go. Puppy Dog, Puppy Dog, turn around. Everybody turn around. Wonderful. Puppy Dog, Puppy Dog, everybody touch the ground. Puppy Dog, Puppy Dog, touch your toes. Everybody touch your toes. Puppy dog, puppy dog, touch your nose. Puppy dog's gonna touch their nose. Puppy dog, puppy dog, tie your shoe. Tie your shoe, you can pretend to tie the puppy shoe. And puppy dog, puppy dog, I love you. Give yourselves a hug or someone next to you. Well, thank you for helping me, dear friends. Why don't we read one more story today? This one, is called Daniel's Good Day by Misha Archer. Daniel knows many people in his neighborhood. Have a good day, they tell him as he walks to Grandma's house. Excuse me, he says to Mrs. Sanchez, but what makes a good day for you? When skies are clear, so I can paint, she tells him. He sees Emma heading to the park with a kite. What makes a good day for you? Daniel asks. A steady wind, says Emma. A day in the park with a bench in the shade, his neighbors tell him. A long nap for the babies, the nanny says. A please and a thank you, says the bus driver. Bees on flowers, the gardener says. Birthdays, says the baker. Wagon tails, the mail carrier says. The newsstand seller tells him. Busy sidewalks and friendly faces. Everybody home safe, says the crossing guard. When Daniel gets to Grandma's house, she tells him. A hug from you makes my day good. 
In the afternoon, Daniel walks home with Grandma. The gardener is humming along with the bees. The baker and the bus driver are smiling. Emma has found her wind. The babies are sleeping. The couple sits on a shady bench. Lots of people seem to be having a good day everywhere. At home, his mom asks, How was your day, Daniel? I had such a good day. There was a clear sky, a steady wind, a shady bench, a long nap, but not for me. Pleases and thank yous, bees on flowers, but not at a birthday picnic, wagging tails, busy sidewalks, friendly faces, hugs from grandma, and from you. And everybody home safe. That's grandma. How about some ice cream on your good day, Daniel? Yes, Daniel says. That will make it a perfect day. The, the end. end. I hope you enjoyed that story. And like Daniel, I hope all of you have a good day. Okay, let's end our story time with our farewell song. We wave goodbye like this. We wave goodbye like this. We clap our hands for all our friends. We wave goodbye like this. Thank you for coming, friends, and I'll see you next time.